hello hello welcome back to my channel and if you are new here you're more than welcome to join us so in today's video i'm gonna draw while i talk about finding your art style so i hope you enjoy this video before i start with the subject of this video i need to explain what i'm drawing so i have my original character and i'm gonna draw her as zucker from animal crossing he's my favorite villager so so i thought that it would be nice to draw my oc as zucker so today we're going to talk about how to find your art style things i wish i knew or things that i learned or discovered through my journey to find my art style so i hope these tips help you so let's just start we don't need a longer intro so the first thing is from where do you start i remember when i wanted to commit to a specific art style i did not know where to start so here's what i did in the beginning i want you to ask yourself these questions what I'm interested in, what do I like to draw, what type of art that brings me joy when I look at it. So try to answer these questions, then go to your best friend, aka Pinterest, and create an inspiration board that includes art that kind of similar or within the same niche, concept, or style. But don't include too much to the point it get confusing, just try to narrow your choices. So I tried to observe the art that you collected or the inspiration board and then try to combine these art style and technique into your own art. For example, you like how eyes are drawn in a certain way, but you saw another artist and you like how they draw the lips in another way. So observe and try to combine different technique or styles. Some will work, some will not. You just need to practice and be patient until you create something that you like. The second tip is practice. I know, you heard this before, it's basic, but it's the only way that will make you discover yourself and your art style. And when you practice a lot, you get your hands used to the art style and the technique that you're trying to achieve. And what's good about practice is that it makes you discover new things that can be implemented into your current style which can be developed into your own unique touch. On the other hand, practicing sometimes makes you realize that you don't want to include a specific style or technique in your style. So practice, make mistakes, and learn from them. Comparison is the thief of joy. While we love to see other people's creation and to get inspired by them, we often find out that we are comparing ourselves to them. And I think comparison is good, but to a certain extent. It's good for the purpose of improving and learning, but it's not good when we attach it to our self-worth. I am not good enough. I'm not gonna be good enough. They are talented, creative, and I'm not, etc. And listen to me. You are good enough. You are talented. And you are creative but you just need a little practice. Yes, I'm saying it again because these people did not born talented. They worked very hard to get where they are right now. So practice and only compare yourself to how you were in the past. Step four is you don't have to be 100% original. So before I started, I thought I had to create 100% new art style in order to achieve or created as my own but when I observe artists that I look up to I realize that their art is inspired by other artists but they took that style and implemented in their own way just like I explained in the previous point so don't be so hard about it but if you want to create something completely new then that's not impossible it's gonna take some time a lot of hard work but you got this, I'm cheering for you. Step number five is, it's gonna take some time. I know, it's frustrating. You want to find your style right now. To have the perfect Instagram page or the perfect portfolio, you're gonna get there, but it's gonna take some time and practice. I know, I said this before. It's just, you don't want to rush through the process because you might end up not finding or not satisfied 
with what you created because you did not take your time with it and you just rush through the process so be patient with that tip number six is a bonus tip and it's change in the future there's something that i discover a while since i landed on a specific style or niche and that is it's okay if you change your art style in the future in fact your art will change in the future because we as a human change you have different interested from like a year ago or like five year ago and change is not bad it's necessary for your growth and it will help you to figure out what you really want so sometimes you don't want to resist change you just go with the flow and go with what you like so i hope these tips help you with your journey of finding your art style i know it can be a frustrating process but try to enjoy it i know maybe this is the last thing that you want to hear but that's just the truth please enjoy it because you don't want to go through a journey hating yourself and be frustrating with yourself so try to enjoy it and be patient with yourself and don't be hard on yourself so that's it for me i'm gonna stop talking here and you can enjoy the next few minutes of drawing and i'm gonna meet you at the end So this is the final result, I hope you like it. As always, don't forget to take care of your precious soul and body and see you in the next one. Bye!